Hello, we are going to put the yummy spaghetti sauce in the jars and then into the canner. I've got everything pretty much ready if you just want to hang with me while I'm doing this. I had let this simmer all night long. Started out with my own fresh tomatoes. I'm so proud of that. Um, I preheated these jars in the water bath canner. I have no idea how many pints I'm going to get because I've never done this before. So how exciting you're on this journey with me. I think speed is part of the issue with this, getting everything done with timing while the jars are warm and the product is warm and warming up that water and the I will say that I did not de-skin nor de-seed my tomatoes. I had two bags of ripened tomatoes. And I, like I said, I've never done this before, so I didn't know how far this would go or how much would come from it. I didn't even know how many jars to get ready. Beans, I live alone. These might be a little big for me because I don't eat a lot, but you know, it tastes so good. I could probably have it as a bowl of soup. I'm not one for regular tomato soup, but boy, this sure did taste good. This I could eat as a soup. I should have got out more. I might have to pause this and go clean two more jars, get them warmed up. I was thinking of doing some small ones, you know, the jam jars for a single serve, because that's what I am, single. See the little ones? I am going to put, I'm not doing lemon juice, I'm doing apple cider vinegar. I am going to put a quarter of a teaspoon in each one. Even though I did do vinegar in the, in the sauce, I did let it cook all night and I did add more onions and garlic. And since I added more seasoning, I thought it best to Add a little extra. I need to put more in that jar. Looks like I'm having tomato soup today. No sense cleaning up any more jars. I'll just eat it tonight. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, this is exciting. 
this is just apple cider vinegar. Just putting a wincy little bit in each one, just to be sure. I'd rather have to add a little sugar. Well, I wouldn't add sugar, but a little stevia or honey. When I open it, and something go awry. Got to clean off the jars. Vinegar, this is just vinegar. why we clean off the jars. That one there, I got some tomato sauce on there. Up this one too. going to bubble to use this. Just because you're supposed to. This smells insane good. I am definitely having this for lunch. I am having tomato sauce soup for lunch. <laughs> I hope it's good. Doesn't it look good? Oh, if you could just smell it. Oh.
I did put uh, vinegar in the water, in the water bath canner, because I have hard water. So if you have hard water, if you don't know, call your city and find out, you know, your water company and find out. Um, but I do have hard water, so I put uh, a good splash of vinegar in my water, otherwise it messes up the, the jars. And I'm going to process this for 40 minutes. I'm at a thousand, uh, just above a thousand uh, feet above sea level, so I need to um, add five minutes to the timing. And from the book that I read said 35 minutes. Okay, they're done in our five minute waiting to uh, let them come to room temp here before I pull them out. Um, I'm excited, a little nervous. I hope nothing broke. <laughs> I did wait uh, 35 minutes. Woo, it moved. That made me nervous. anybody else just me look at that how many meals here because you know I'm not gonna eat all that in one meal that's why I did these three instead of trying to fill up more of these well thank you so much for sticking with me I appreciate it please like the video if you did and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and stick with me on this journey to health after 60 I'm going to get healthy no matter what. I'm going to keep on my journey and just keep getting better and better. Who knows? Maybe at 61, I'll be more like a 31-year-old. I can try. Hang with me. God bless you. You have a wonderful day. And until we see you again, bye.